icon, the man, the myth, the legend himself. Put your hands together for Ted! and very politely, I have to ask everybody, when you're joining something as magnificent as Star Wars, what is that pressure like? <laughs> Boy, you know, they kept it so uh, uh, beautifully secretive to me for so long. I, I really just went in with confidence until I found out, oh my God, this is Star Wars. Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a daunting thing. I mean, it's uh, the responsibility of carrying the weight of it. It's like, it's something you want to come with all your strength and all the goodness of the universe behind you and your forefathers and ancestors and god damn it you better carry it right but it's just that and then you have someone like ted who's such a veteran of the series that you have to perform alongside yeah there's some weight that you uh that you feel for sure <laughs> emily what was it like stepping into star wars well it was the same for me i didn't know what i was getting into thank goodness um i i, I had hints that it was something maybe connected to star wars but also Remember, when this show started out, well, when they were casting the show, they said there's going to be this new streaming platform, Disney Plus, and uh, there's so many streaming platforms. You don't know what is a big deal and what's not. And then uh, there'd also never been a live action Star Wars. And the fans are very passionate, which we appreciate. So I knew it could go any number of ways. So I just did my work, focused on what I knew, which was very little, and approached it really the way I would anything else. And I finished all my filming before the show was ever named, before it was ever announced. So I was blissfully unaware, and I'm very happy for that. Brendan, did you make that hat? Did, did I you, make it? Did you make it? Yes, I did. <laughs> and now that I've said this, Disney will sue me. Thanks. <laughs> All right, let's get to the fans. We'll start on this side. Tell me, what is your name, where are you from, and what is your question? Sorry. Can you hear me? I can. <laughs> Hi, my name is Spencer. I'm from South End, but originally I'm from Scotland. So my question for you guys today is, if there's something that you could change about the canon of your character, like their story, what would it be and why? I'm going to say I, I was born flawless. I mean, I don't, not, not one thing. I'm like Beyonce, as you can see. <laughs> you are the Beyonce of Star Wars. I say that to everyone. Yeah. I say let's change. Let heavy live. I want Paz Vizla yeah. forever. Right? Come on! As much as the armor is my muse and she takes me on her journey, Paz is my conscience. What am I going to do? Who checks me? Who makes me question things? You know, like that's, I'm I, honestly, one of the most beautiful scenes I've seen portrayed on small screen uh, was that moment. And uh, I want it for him. I want to change that in his candidate. Uh, for me, that's all. 
That's all. Also, take the Beyonce of Star Wars. That's a great t-shirt idea. Oh, thank you. <laughs> yeah, I like that. Yeah. Talk later. <laughs> thank you so much for your question. Thank you. This side. Hi, what is your name? Where are you from? And what is your question? My name is Ryan. I'm from Guildford. And, Woo! and what was your favorite scene to shoot? Out of every, I know some of you have been in movies, not just the Mandalorian. Well, my favourite scenes were always the scenes with my brother over there, Brendan. 